In this video today, I'm going to be covering Campus Hero 2 is releasing tomorrow. Um, pretty much, there is a ton of new cards that are coming into the game, and I definitely want to, you know, tell you guys what you guys should be doing, how to pretty much prepare for this, and uh, what I think about the cards, and we'll show you guys some stats, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so pretty much the first actual card that is coming out is Devontae Smith, which I'm not going to lie, um, we kind of didn't need another receiver, we just got Herman Moore, um, but honestly, it is what it is, bro, there's going to be so many cards coming out with, you know, golden tickets in the future and stuff like that, but as you can see, 95 speed, 93 jumping, 97 catch, 95 catch in traffic, 95 spec catch, 95 short route running 94 medium route running 96 deep route running so this card is going to be an absolute beast this is a limited time card so i'm going to probably be trying to reroll some training variety packs before they come out of the game but yeah um so pretty much there might be a market crash going on tomorrow with everybody you know trying to get back into the servers because if you guys didn't know um before the presents were opening the day of christmas a lot of people got you know very messed up on their ultimate team like i know a couple people that actually can't play it right now and some of you people that are playing ultimate team right now probably you know are trying to probably can't get into ultimate team it says like the the, the servers can't connect or something like that um or they can't complete your request right now so madden's gonna end up trying to fix that tomorrow they're testing it so that's always a good sign um the next card that we're gonna see though is 96 jadavian clowny which this is a ltd as well as you can see guys which is absolutely insane 93 speed 90 excel 92 strength 92 tackle 92 play recognition 96 block shed which is crazy 96 power boom, like bro that is just crazy 96 power move 91 finesse move which is this this card is honestly probably gonna be obviously the best left end in the game um to be completely honest this is definitely one of the you know the better cards that's come out so far and i definitely definitely like this card um the next card that we're gonna be talking about is this card right here there's a dennard robinson um qb card you know there's a ton of stuff okay so there's gonna be the denard robinson card um as you guys are gonna see i'm gonna show you guys that real quick and this card's gonna be a beast so for this denard robinson card 95 speed 96 throw power 94 um short accuracy 94 medium accuracy 95 deep accuracy bro like 96 throw on the run like this is crazy this is honestly crazy look at this card and this card's always gonna be fun. Like the non-Robinson cards are always fun. And yeah, bro, this is probably gonna be the best quarterback in the game. I'd be completely honest. Like, look at the look at the accuracy stats and look at the throw power. Look at the speed. Like it's all insane. I'm surprised this wasn't a limited time. All right, and then the next card is gonna be Thomas Davis Jr. It's gonna have 94 speed, 97 excel, 91 tackle, 91 play rec, 94 pursuit, 90 man coverage, 96 zone coverage, and a 97 hit power. Now, the reason that they put him at free safety is because before in college, he was actually, um, you know, a number one safety um, in the, um, you know, college. Um, so, they made him a free safety. Um, so, that's pretty dope. That's honestly something new. Um, but, yeah, now the Panthers have two very good safeties, Jabril Peppers and Thomas Davies Sr. So, that's honestly crazy. The next card that's coming into Madden is a 96 overall Jason Verrett, which is very solid. 96 speed, 96 excel, 96 agility, 93 jump, 91 play rec, 96 man, 96 zone, 92 press. This is probably going to be the best quarterback in, uh, cornerback in the game because it does have a 96 speed, 96 uh, excel, 96 agility, 93 jumping. Like two um, of the man coverage and zone coverage are really, really good. So this card is going to be definitely something that you're going to want on your team. Um, it's definitely going to be better than Carmichael. I'm not going to lie because Carmichael, I feel like he gets burnt a lot. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but he definitely does. Um, but yeah, so the next card is going to be Keith Byers. Um, this is a very, very good card. He has, he has a lot of weight on him, so it's going to be easy to break tackles. And his break tackle is literally a 95, bro. 97 truck, like 94 catching, so it's going to be crazy. 95 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 92 carrying. Like, this is just crazy, bro. This is, like, 95 change of direction is actually crazy. Like, that is actually crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, that is actually, like, something that I've never seen before. Like, bro, like, these cards are very, very, very good, bro. These cards are going to be super, super good. And then there's a ton of 93 overall players as well. But now, since I kind of told you about the limited times, um, I'm going to kind of tell you guys basically what you guys should be doing when you guys are actually, you know, trying to prepare for, you know, Campus Hero 2s. So, yeah, let's get into that. 
All right, guys. So as you guys can see, I have a million coins and 100k training. All right. The plan that I'm thinking about doing is pretty much seeing how the Campus Hero reroll packs end up going. Um, the market crash could potentially be happening just because there's going to be a ton of people opening presents tomorrow that couldn't get into the game when Madden was actually, you know, doing the presents initially on Christmas Day. So there's going to be people with thousands of presents that are going to be opened, hopefully. And that's going to literally put the training down to three and it's at five right now. So these 92 overall uh, stocking stuffers are going to probably get on to like a crazy amount. Like they're probably going to go down so much. And then the 90 overall cards, bro, it's going to be crazy for training tomorrow if this end up does, you know, happening. So there's the the um, stocking stuff is going for around 120k right now. They're probably going to go drop down to like 90k, 80k, which is very, very solid. As you guys know, um, training is super, super expensive right now. On Christmas Day, it literally crashed like crazy, bro. And these uh, 90 overall zero chill cards, like they are super, super um good to get for training if you guys can snipe them um but basically these are probably gonna drop down a price all right and what my plan is what i think you guys should honestly do is if you guys were the type of people that weren't getting into madden i would sell your cards immediately um because they're gonna drop down in price because of the training variety packs and stuff like that um some of the cards that you get in training variety packs um i don't think it's gonna really affect it that much but the market's probably gonna crash just because of people opening presents again so carmichael tom brady you know, like, all the Blitz cards are going to go down. That's going to give you guys so much training right there. That's going to literally make 90 overalls, like, 60K, 50K. Not even, maybe a little bit lower, bro. And it's going to be crazy. I'm not going to lie. So, tomorrow, make sure you guys have coins. Stock up on your coins. Tomorrow, open your training variety packs, okay? You guys are going to want to try to pull these limited times. They're going to be worth so much coins, man. Because they're new. You know what I'm saying? They're 96 overalls. They're very good positions um or you guys can also wait as you guys know these go out um you know eight hours from now so they're probably gonna take this out the game and then there's probably only gonna be zero chill uh or um campus hero two packs honestly so i would wait for them to see if they're good and then um i'd probably reroll once that happens actually because i totally forgot that these are getting out of the game um very very soon so yeah there's probably gonna be like an 84 plus campus hero pack or something like that um for you know probably like 4k or something like that um in the you know what i'm saying store for training that's why i have 100k training and a million coins but if the campus hero packs are super super good i'm probably going to take all these a million coins and put it into them packs and then you know what i'm saying try to you know either build there's definitely going to be like a champion set i'm pretty sure because there was one before if i'm not mistaken there was one before don't quote me on that let me just double check that yeah there was a bunch of champions so there's going to be a lot more um, for Campus Heroes 2. Probably, you know, not the Devontae Smith, not the Jadavian Clowney, but the Keith Byers, the Jason Verrett, the Thomas Davis Sr., and what was the other card? Um, the other card that I, I'm, I'm honestly forgetting about. Um, they're going to be in sets, and then the other two are limited times, which is, you know, Devontae Smith and then Jadavian Clowney. They're not going to be um, in packs or in the champion set. They're going to be in packs. So yeah, that's what I think about this Campus Hero 2. This is the basically the stats and what I think you guys should do to prepare for this. So like I said, have your coins stacked up as much as you can. And then try to, you know what I'm saying, put that into training if the Campus Hero packs are good. First, I would wait and see if they're good. I would try to open a couple of them, see if the odds are good. And if they're not, man, you know what I'm saying, I would not do it, you feel me? So yeah, um, that's what I would do for the Campus Hero promo. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.